welcome to this video. My name is Zoe. I am with the Cumberland County Public Libraries and I'm very excited to do a fun video about how April showers bring May flowers. For this video we will be doing an experiment with color and we will be doing some art projects with painting flowers but without using our paint brushes. So if you like these crafts and if you like these experiments, you can find more of these available in our juvenile nonfiction section in the arts and crafts um, books that we have available. And let's get started. <laughs> All right, for the first part of this water rainbow experiment, I have four clear bottles of um, water. I have three strips of paper towels that are white. I have the three primary colors, which is yellow, red, and blue in food coloring, and I have extra water in a jug. So I've already filled up some of the water ahead of time, but I'm going to completely add the water um, into the first three bottles. So like this. Like so, I'm going to start with yellow food coloring. And I'm going to go into red food coloring. And then I'm going to end with blue. And while those colors start to mix throughout the water, I'm going to add only a little bit of water into the last bottle. And we are about to get started. So the idea is we are going to be adding somewhat folded pieces of paper towels into each of the bottles. And then by the time the color absorbs all the way through the rainbow, it will add color into this last bottle and we will see if that happens. And then by the end of it, all of the paper towels will collectively form a rainbow. That's the idea. <laughs> so first I just Gently tip the ends in so that it forms an arch. Now we wait. <laughs> So this is what our experiment looks like after over half an hour soaking. So again, you can start this experiment, go do some things, and then come back and check on the progress of how the colors have moved. 
Sometimes the colors don't meet and that's okay because experimenting is all about trial and error and we love learning things. So you can see that um, the yellow and the red are about an inch apart from meeting and the red and the blue are about two inches from meeting. And um, if you want to, you can continue with this um, experiment and give it a little bit longer and go about the rest of your day and check on it in a couple hours. But this is what it looks like about 30 minutes after. Now, if you don't want to use paper towels or if you want to experiment on how different um, materials absorb pigment, you can also use any old white pair of socks that you would like. We have three pairs of socks that we are experimenting with in this version of it. And as you can see, I've added water and some of the food coloring, and I'm actually going to add a little bit more to see if adding more pigment to the water will create more of a rainbow effect on the fabric. Another thing to note is that you should only do uh, food coloring with fabric that you don't mind it being stained because this is the messy part of it. And I've also pre-soaked the socks in water to see if that speeds up the process a little bit more with color transfer. <laughs> So after a little bit of time, we see that it's slightly stained our white sock. And basically, I'm just moving the water that's still in the fabric back and forth. And if you want to wring out your fabric and um, encourage the colors to start blending, you can. So you just create a little bit of a ball where red's on top and blue's on the bottom. Squeeze out the water and you can start to see that there's some mixing going on. Not quite purpley yet. And then you can start to layer in the center so that you see some of the overlap of the mixing. And then once you have the colors mixed to the saturation and the pigment that you want, you can set it aside and let it dry out. So we're gonna set it aside. And now I'm gonna move on to the red and yellow. Again, you can see there's some white in the middle. So we're gonna do the same thing and layer it and then squeeze it out. And you can see that it's starting to mix a little bit. And again, we're going to dip the middle back in the yellow, squeeze it out, and dip it in the red, squeeze it out, and you can start to see some orange forming. So it goes from pink all the way through orange in the middle and yellow on the end. And again, once you're happy with the way that it looks, you can set it aside and let it continue to dry. 
All right, and we are going to learn how to do two types of making flowers, but the thing is we are going to do it without using any paint brushes. So I have the colors that I would like. I have my pieces of paper. You can also use canvases if you want, but this is cardstock. And I have some string and I have a balloon. I don't have any paint brushes. And the first one that we are going to do is making flower petals using the balloon. To do this, we start off with um, putting a decent amount of white paint on the paper. It might seem like a lot of white paint, but this is a slightly contained acrylic pour. I also have a popsicle stick to help spread out the paint a little bit more. So it's not gonna run off the edges of the paper, but it is going to make it easier for the colors to move when I um, press them onto this wet paint with the balloon. Again, I'm not going to the edges because I want the flower to be front and center. Then I'm going to take my colors. I'm using yellow. You can use whichever colors you want. I'm making a few dots on the paint. And then I'm going to add some paint around it. The great thing about this is it doesn't have to be perfectly circular. You can make a little bit of abstract art. Then I'm gonna go with a third color around the edges. And now we are ready to attempt using our balloon. I'm going to use one side of the balloon that's um, a little bit round and also already kind of in a petal shape. And I'm going to press it down and take it off. And if you, <laughs> if you have some left over on your balloon, it's totally fine. You can wipe it onto a different piece of paper or you can continue going. Like so. And so these are three flower petals. Since it's abstract, I've realized that they are calla lilies <laughs> that are multicolored. And then basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna set this aside to dry because it is a thick layer of paint on the paper. It will take a lot longer than normal to dry. And then once it's dried, you can um, add stems or other um, background stuff as you wish. But this is a quick and easy way to make a flower with a balloon. And this version, I am going to be painting with string. Again, I'm gonna put white paint on the canvas or the piece of paper first to create a little bit of a barrier for the paint to move. I'm going to take my handy dandy little popsicle stick Move it back and forth. Until there's a slightly even and thick layer of paint on the bottom. Now I've already laid out my colors in a line. This is very handy if you want to make multicolored string. And I'm going to dip my string in the center until it's submerged by the colors so that you don't see the string in the middle. And then I'm gonna go back and forth like so. Spin it around and do back and forth. This is a natural way to um, blend the edges of each color. And then I get to put it in the paint. I'm gonna hold one end still this is the end that I'll be still, and this is the one that I'm gonna be moving. And I'm going to move it slightly. 
and then lift it up. And that is another way to do a flower. And then if you want to do another petal, you can take another thing of string, repeat the process, set it on the canvas, again holding one end still and moving one end and lifting up. And you repeat that process until you have a full flower. I'm happy with my um, flower to be single petaled and it looks like a fun little abstract art. This is great for making um, art that can go on the fridge or on the wall. You can also do a smaller version and create cards out of this. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you had fun with these slightly messy but very fun coloring crafts and experiments. If you want to learn more about our STEM programs that we offer in person, you can call us at 910-483-7727 at multiple branches every month. We have K through fifth programming that is science, technology, engineering, math, and art related. Have a nice day.